Inevitably, when you have intensive farming of fish, algae, shrimp, you have diseases. And when the diseases hit, they can be absolutely devastating. So Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries have really been hurt by pathogen attacks, bacteria, viruses. Can we find new solutions to combating these pathogens? So microalgae um, represent a natural part of the aquatic food web. So they represent an opportunity to use a natural part of the animal's diet as a delivery system for delivering therapeutics such as vaccines to the animals. Because they're photosynthetic organisms, growing them and producing enough material to actually represent a vaccine could be done at relatively low cost because the, the, the inputs for growing algae are simple things such as sunlight, CO2. We have a very sort of low tech, very low cost way of growing the algae using nitrates and phosphates that are actually waste products of things like the, the wastewater industry. Therefore, we can actually have a system whereby we're using very simple, readily available inputs to produce a high value output, in this case, a vaccine. Since 2018, the University of Kent and Biotech, together with University College London, have been actively involved in two collaborative funded projects that focus on using antiviral microalgae in aquafeed for disease control. These projects have a common goal of developing and implementing innovative and sustainable methods to prevent devastating viral disease outbreaks in Thailand's shrimp industry. Chlamydomonas is already classified in many countries around the world as a grass organism, which stands for generally recognized as safe. Chlamydomonas has been used as a model organism for studying algal biology for many, many years. So we have a huge amount of knowledge in terms of how to grow the alga, but also importantly, we have a whole suite of genetic engineering tools that allow us to engineer the alga to produce novel bioproducts, biotherapeutics such as vaccines that we can use to treat infection in shrimp and other organisms. So we are mimicking shrimp immunity called RNA interference. RNA interference or RNAi, or somebody called RNA silencing mechanism, so silencing means you turn off the gene expression. Means starting with double-stranded RNA molecules. And this RNA molecules that we produce would be specifically targeting the viral RNA. As a result, it inhibits the gene expression or protein translation of virus. And the virus cannot replicate itself in shrimp. Right now, we have successfully developed molecular engineering platform for production of antiviral algae. So we have the platform. If you have the problems in the field, we have the prototype algae against those viruses. Tested with both white spot syndrome virus, yellowhead virus, we can bring up the survival rate up to 70 to 80% compared to the shrimp without getting the algae. Currently, we have the algae powder that looks like this. It's ready to use. If you want to use it as a feed supplement, you can. Or you want to use it to formulate it as a feed as a functional feed, you can also. We can engineer or customize it for you. Can produce the growth hormone. That's what the UK partners are working on. Um, this could be applied to both fish and shrimp. I think it's having got to the stage where we are attacking specific shrimp pathogens. We now broaden it out, get the interest of companies so they can test it in the real world because that's critical, and start uh, talking to other academic groups as well to see if they've got new ideas or they can adapt the ideas that we've already got. And so I think that's the important point of collaboration, overlapping the sort of uh, expertise and, and, and then get to the point where you broaden it out and start really making a network. And the idea now is that we want to commercialize this. We want to take it away from an academic setting and put it in the real world. We're currently looking for the partners 
ones feed mills or biotech companies that have facility to scale up our products, large scale production for commercial reality of this innovation. This research confirms that RNA interference technology effectively fights viral infection in shrimp. For practical implementation at the farm level, acceptance from both the public and private sectors is crucial. This unlocks the potential to boost production, meet global demands and thrive in the export market. Together, we can pave the way for remarkable success in shrimp aquaculture.